Hi everyone, here we are again. Yes, it's an old Triang rocket. Uh, this was sent to me by a chap called Martin, who told me that uh, he, he bought it from a friend and it seemed to run okay, and then one day it just suddenly stopped, and it's never run since. Um, he's told me that the live wire has become detached from the brush, but uh, the motor doesn't seem to run when power is applied directly. So applying power doesn't do anything, it's completely dead. So we'll get it into the shed and over to the bench and see if we can see what's up with it. Okay, dokie then, let's get a look at this. Um, this is the second one of these I've looked at. Uh, the one I looked at before had a resistor down the chimney and this doesn't. Uh, some of them have uh, smoke generators down the chimney as well, but this doesn't have anything, thankfully. Um, you know, amazing little feats of engineering in their day, these, you know, because they are absolutely tiny. You know, so to get a little motor to work in one of these things back in the day was uh, good going by trying, I have to say. Um, right, okay, so this doesn't work, but it did work, which is always a bit uh, worrying when something just suddenly stops, but we shall see. So undo that wee screw there, and undo that one. Uh, the one I worked on before, the body was actually on really tight. It was actually quite difficult to get off, but uh, this is very loose. So I think this has been off and on a few times. Unhook that from the chimney. And the body will come off. There we go. Chimney looks a bit squint. I actually think that's... Yeah, this piece here is actually on squint. I think it's probably always been like that. It's just the way it's uh, come out of the factory, I think. That's a wee bit of a shame. It comes off. So yeah, if this wire here is, is loose, um, then it should be soldered directly onto the brush there. But let's try a battery on it. No, not getting anything at all. Oh dear. Okay, so we'll take it apart, uh, give it all a good clean. Um, but I really want to test the armature. Um, because if that's dead, we're in trouble because uh, trying to get hold of a replacement X500 motor is uh, not easy. Um, you know, if that armature is dud, uh, we could be looking at doing a rewind. Now, I've never done a rewind. I'd quite like to give it a go. Um, but I wouldn't want to do it for the first time on uh, someone else's model, especially a wee thing like this. So I'd need to go and uh, practice it a couple of times on, uh, you know, I've got plenty of old XO4 motors and stuff that I could... Uh, have a go at rewinding a motor. But anyway, I'm get, getting ahead of myself. Let's get this apart and see if uh, it'll work or not. So, undo that. Is that going to come out? It should do. Right. Okay. Get that out. Uh, where's my tweezers? Right, the battery's out. We're probably going to need a good clean. If we take the magnet out, take that bearing out the back, which, oh dear, yeah, that's not good. That looks, uh, very melted. I don't know how well you can see, but um, that's not a round hole anymore. Get that out and that out. And then I've got better access to clean this and test it. So we'll give it a scoosh. Right, because I can't get a cotton bud in there, I've uh, dipped a pipe cleaner into some 
teacup. That seems to get in there okay. Make sure these slots between their poles are clean. Bit of gunk in that one. Right, give this another scoosh. And then we shall see if we've got a dud or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure we've got continuity between the poles. Um, and if we do, and there's no short between the poles and the shaft, the motor should be good. Yeah. A very slight different resistance reading between those two poles there, but ah, there's not much difference. Now we should not have any continuity between the commutator and the shaft. And we don't. So that's good news. That tells me the motor's okay. So why was it not running? Let's have a look at these brushes. They're in okay condition, they are very dirty. I don't know, it might just be a, a combination of dirt. And uh, I'm a little bit concerned about this bearing. I was forgetting this is essentially a split chassis model. Um, so I'm wondering if there's any kind of short between the, the two halves. Let's just have a look at this. Yeah, seems okay. The wheels feel a wee bit on the stiff side, um, but we'll get them scooshed out and re-oiled. Yeah, pop the brushes in there. Let's get some contact cleaner on them. Right, that's better. Um, okay, we'll put this back together and see if we can get it to run. Okay, one of these goes on the top, one goes on the bottom. Um, let's leave that one on the top, I think. That goes under there. the back. I think that's on there. Let's make it that down there. Screw down to that bottom plate. Rotate that little nut. I have no idea if the magnet's the right way around or not. I don't really care at the moment. I just want to see if I can get this motor to spin. So that goes Around there. Such a tiny fiddly little thing to work on this. Come on. There we go. Okay. What happens when we put a battery on this now? Got to be kicked it. Oh, smoke. Oh, am I getting smoke? It's one thing to go. Uh, why isn't it? Hmm. Getting a big buzz. But the motor's not turning. Why is that? Uh, do you know, I think this armature should be turning freer than it is. It's a wee bit stiff. I'm wondering if that's just uh, enough to stop it from, from spinning. Because, um, you know, the motor's buzzing and there's smoke coming off the brushes. Um, now, that could be that the motor is, is dud. 
but you know the multimeter says otherwise um but if if the motor is prevented from spinning if there's something physically stopping it from spinning you'll get the same uh, symptom so i'm wondering i'm gonna have another look at this rear bearing because it did look a bit iffy we'll get a second pair of specs on this i think yeah, it's a wee bit of a mess in there and i think there's a wee bit plastic Get that out of there. Let's run a pipe cleaner through it. Right, let's give that a go. Yeah, that's better. That's encouraging. It is a bit loose, but uh, you kind of expect that. These bearings, uh, you know, just plastic bearings, they're going to be worn, but <laughs> there's zero chance of getting replacements. Yeah, right, we'll give this a go. Right, what happens with the battery now? It's spinning. There we go. Yeah, interesting. A tiny wee bit of plastic in that rear bearing was just... Uh, interfering with the movement of the armature. I'm also noticing that the, the rear bearing is actually loose, so it's, it's moving about. That's not good. Let's push that in a bit and tighten that up. That's better. Right, try that. Right, I've pushed the magnet in a bit. That seems to have done it. Just wonder if I've pushed it in too far. It feels a wee bit stiff again. I think there's going to be a sweet spot here. Let's loosen that again. Right, the motor is spinning and the bearing isn't wiggling about. I think we're winning. Um, I think I'd like to get a wee bit of oil in that rear bearing. That's probably why it melted in the first place. It didn't have any lubrication on it. Get a wee bit in front as well. Right, okay. I think what we'll do is we'll get this cleaned up and uh, put it back together and see if it runs. We'll give this a scoosh out the contact cleaner. That spins better. Tighten that onto there. Now then, what happens if we stick a battery on this? Oh, there we go. Got wheels turning. Right, okay, before I solder the wire onto there, I want to remagnetize the magnet because um, I think it is a bit weak and because I've had it out, it'll be weaker still. I seem to remember actually on the other rocket that I worked on that after remagnetizing it, it didn't work. I had to take the magnet out to weaken it a bit and then put it back in and then it, then it worked okay. So, you know, a super strong magnet maybe isn't the best idea for this wee thing, but we'll see. We'll remagnetize it and we'll see what happens. Um, so I'm gonna have to undo this again. Right, put the magnet the right way around this time. Put it in there like that, hold it there, and we'll give it a 
a single blast. Should do it. It's hard to tell um, how well it's running because when you touch the brushes with the battery, you're moving the brushes. So you'll get um, kind of lumpy running. Um, yeah, I think there's nothing for it. We'll need to solder the wire onto the brush and get it onto the track and see what it does. It might just need a, a good run. Right, okay, this is a tricky little soldering job because you have to do it with the brush in situ. You don't want to melt the uh, the plastic part that holds the brushes in. Right. Well, it's not the proper way to solder things, but. Good, okay. Right, moment of truth. Let's see if this runs. Yes, it does. Cool. Um, I still think the motor would benefit from a rewind, um, but you know it's not something I've ever done, and I'm not prepared to to undertake it on on this particular model. But it's something I'm going to have to go and uh, practice. I think you know this will never run particularly well on on this uh, nickel track. This is Code One Hundred nickel track. Uh, this is meant for old trying track uh, that we steal because it's got magnesium. Um, so this thing will have terrible traction, so it will run really lumpy, but I think it will run. So let's put it back together. I'm so tempted to try and straighten that, because it just uh, it doesn't look right. But there's a real danger of snapping that, and that would be catastrophic. So we won't risk it. Um, right, clip that into there and clip it into the chimney. Okay, one last little test. I think we're done. Let's go and pull it out of the shed. Okay, then, here she comes. So there we are, rocket runs again. Uh, the main issues there were dirt, lack of lubrication where it mattered, and uh, an armature that could really do with a rewind. Um, I think the motor is running a little hot, which remagnetizing will have helped, but uh, I suspect what's happened here is that the motor got hot, the rear bearings melted, causing more friction, making things worse, till the, uh, the solder on the brush failed. Um, so although I've got this running again, and you know it's, it seems to be running absolutely fine, um, I, I will recommend to Martin that he sends this off somewhere uh, to get the motor rewound. Um, that's, that's something I really need to learn how to do. But it's running okay for now, and uh, once coupled up to the coach actually, it seems to run uh, quite a bit slower and smoother. Uh, when I worked on one of these before, I only had the locomotive, and uh, it ran way too fast on its own. But uh, this coupled up to the tender and the coach uh, seems to run at a much better speed. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, these, these trying rockets are amazing for their time, I think, and uh, are absolutely worth saving. I'd really like to get hold of one at some time. Uh, okay, I'll get this packed up and sent back to Martin, and we'll catch you later.